to draw in the sternoclavicular disc. It attaches from the inferior surface of the clavicular notch up to the superior surface of the head of the clavicle. I'm just going to abbreviate this SC disc. Sorry, this color is not too good. In red, the sternoclavicular disc attaching from the inferior surface of the clavicular notch to the superior surface of the head of the clavicle. Remember, this is a fibrocartilage. Maybe you should put in parentheses here. Fibrocartilage disc, you can talk about its functions, about stress, about bony fit, about luxation and movement of the clavicle. SC disc. The second, gosh, we got terrible color to today. The second uh, ligament I want to draw are the anterior and posterior SC ligaments. Here, all we're looking at is the anterior, but we know there are posterior AC ligaments. Of course, those are capsular, preventing anterior and posterior translation. Then we have the interclavicular ligament. It's got to be some color over here. I will bring new ones to the break. How about that? Thank you. Okay. So here we go. The inter. Oh, we have a question. Yes. Sorry, does that say anterior posterior AC ligament? Or it should. It does say AC. How silly. We're talking about the sternoclavicular joint, not the AC joint. I'm going to get to the AC joint. SC. Thank you. Okay. Then we have the interclavicular ligament. It's going to be a. Remember, this this sternoclavicular uh, disc is actually within the joint capsule, right? Think about that. It's within the joint capsule, just like the menisci are. So here, then, outside and blending with the joint capsule. We're going to have this interclavicular ligament. Let's draw a couple bands here. And it's going to bind the two heads of the clavicle as well as attaching to the maneuverum. Its primary function is to prevent lateral displacement of the clavicle. And finally, then, we have the costoclavicular ligament. It's got fibers that run like this, attaching the superior surface of the first rib to the inferior surface of the clavicle. And its primary function is to prevent superior movement of the clavicle, but we also learn it's going to limit some medial movement of the clavicle as well. Costoclavicular. 